Hi everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Do Sue. Welcome to any new subscribers and welcome back to any returning subscribers. Um, as you may or may not be aware, I have reached um, my 100 subscribers a few weeks ago. Well, only recently, it's not been that long and I'm kind of just under 120 now, I think. And I'm very grateful for all the support everyone's shown and you know I just can't believe it and I wasn't prepared to be honest to actually reach that goal um so I want to do a giveaway for the 100 subscribers and I've been racking my brains and then I saw that Tanya at Tatty Treasure was doing an Edith Holden file folder series and I thought oh I'll make one of those and um then I can give it away as a prize for reaching 100 subscribers so that is the plan so today I have been through her first couple of videos. So the first one was how to to uh, take your Edith Holden Country Diary book apart. So oh, we've got four piles. I don't have folders for mine at the moment. So we've got things that I think might be good for centre spreads. I've got pages that I possibly would use for fussy cutting or smaller pieces and then I've got pe pieces I think would be lovely for front covers um, yep and then I've got another pile and these these paper clips are not big enough actually just try that one and these are all text pages so they would be good for um, just pockets and things like that so that's the first episode that I have watched. Second episode I've watched was it's showing us the file folder. Now I'm using the these Pendaflex USA ones, which I bought in a box. And I can't remember, I think it was probably only a 50, 50 box, 50 in a box. And they're a lovely cream card. They have got the two tabs. I'm not sure if Tanya's had. I don't know if hers were identical to this or not. I couldn't really tell. But so to give you an idea of size, they are just under nine inches tall by um, just over 11 and a half inches wide, not including that top tab there. And Tanya folded hers over like this. So you have it like that. We'll fold this one. And then obviously you've got double pages now here and here so what you want for this to go with this three envelopes tanya had three envelopes one was nine inches by six and a half inches one was six and a quarter inches approximately by four and a half inches and one was eight and a half inches by four and a quarter inches now let me just take these pages off and i'll show you my envelopes so as you see I, I've chosen so that's my big envelope which is going to slot down into the between those two layers it is too wide across here and Tanya's was and so she will be showing how to cut that down so I'll, I'll be watching her video to do that this is the tall one that's the tall envelope so that's the one I'm using and then we have a smaller one, which will, so the smaller one will fit onto the top of this one like this. And it will, let me get rid of those for a minute. Put those over there. And it will assume that the flaps will go into the, in between those two pieces like that. So that's what you need to start with. So that's what I'll be starting with. I'm not going to show you all the papers, but the second episode was going through this all the supplies you might need so when she's going to use um tea dye distress oxide i've only got tea dye distressing so i'll have to use that um glue she says she's going to use kalau and art glitter well i've got both of those i'm not keen on kalau but as she quite rightly said it's a it's a more fluid glue and you get more wriggle time then we want um some 
Obviously, we'll be using some of the Edith Holden text pages to make pockets and things like that with. Um, and I think at the moment that's that's it for now. So I'm going to make this for the giveaway, as I say. I don't want to show you everything I've picked out for it because I want it to be a surprise. Now, there's a huge list of ephemera that goes into it. So there's a slot pocket, a tab top pocket, which is small, a smaller pocket, excuse me, pocket, a pocket for the tall envelope. And that's a piece... Um, I don't think I've got one to show you. I've used a couple of them in my junk uh, peacock journal. Couldn't think. And they're similar to this in size, but the pockets are open here, here and here. So you might have a pocket open here and here and here. These are top loaders. I guess it, it probably doesn't matter what, what style, but that's the similar thing. And so you'll need one of those and you'll need three tags to go into those a writing board which i've never made so i'm excited to make one of those a window envelope pocket piece with ephemera well we have i've been making a few of those with my the challenge i've been doing with dd farrago um hashtag tc 2021 tctc so not sure this was one of them i think so that's kind of a similar thing so I don't think I've got anything Edith Holdenish in my stash. I don't have a huge stash, you see. I've got that's why I started an ephemera series on my channel because I wanted to build up my stash rather than make things as I go along. So that will be an interesting piece. And a journal card that is long and narrow with a tab on the side. Um a, an envelope tuck in piece, not quite sure about that one skinny notebook a glassine bag that's made into a pocket two large tags about that about that high and one long narrow pocket to go along the bottom i think it's one maybe one or two now i'm not going to make all these pieces on camera i am going to pick out select a few out of this list and i'm going to make those in my ephemera series on camera which will be for this so from now on whatever ephemera i'm going to be making will be this holden related i think uh, i don't have enough time as i work for four full-time days a week i don't have enough time in the actual week to do it so um i will be doing them off camera but this will be the prize for the 100 subscriber giveaway hopefully it will only take me well, I don't want to say how long I think it might take me. We'll see. Um, but I'll get it done as quick as I can for you all. And then I'll I'll put a video up of details of how to how to um join in the giveaway. Yeah, what's the word for that? I can't think. It's Sunday afternoon. And I spent all day yesterday on my peacock journal and I'm still not finished. So I had to do some of it off camera because otherwise it's going to go on forever in a day. And I've still got a couple of, at least a couple of videos, if not more to do on camera. So, you know, and I've got the ephemera series. So this will be part of that now. And I've got my Marguerite Miller 52 week collage challenge series. I've got my DD Farago hashtag 2021 TCTC series and I'm also I've just started a bohemian style slash gypsy style watered book series so I've got quite a lot going on and I've got to try and fit that all in in into a long weekend really so around you know normal weekend stuff that you have to do at home and everything but you know um I do try and come up here after dinner in the evenings during the week if I'm not too tired. So anyway, I'm not going to bore you with all that. You don't want to hear all that nonsense. So I just wanted to let you know that this is what I am giving away. And we're not going to show you the pieces I've picked. <laughs> so I wanted to be a surprise. So I may not actually show you the file folio until it's finished you'll see some of the pieces i make in the ephemera series 
they will be out of this long list that I've written down copious notes on and um, and we'll see how we get on so how exciting <laughs> so watch this space and um, of course you have to be a subscriber to be in the giveaway so to enter that's the word not to apply but to enter so you know spread the word and um i look forward to seeing you all at the end of this with a lovely edith holden file folder so have a good week everyone next week happy crafting and take care of yourselves so i'll see you again soon Bye bye